Well, welcome to All Things Apostolic. We're glad to have you with us today. We are at Summit in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. What a great place to have a conference. And this is the second day of the conference. There was business yesterday. Today, this is the um, home missions of the Worldwide Pentecostal Fellowship. And um, tonight will be Global Missions. And tomorrow night will be a word from our executive chairman, Brother Kenneth Godare. So we're glad you're with us here. I am very happy today to have with me my good friend, Dr. Timothy Merritt. He pastors a church in Pine, Louisiana, but he does other things also. In fact, I think he pastors two or three churches in the state of Louisiana and um, uh, is deeply and vitally involved in the work of God. He is also the director of CAPS, which is the Center for Apostolic Pentecostal Studies. And uh, it's connected with Wilson University, but it's broader than that. It's uh, getting, really getting its feet off the ground in a tremendous way. So um, a lot of people say, well, what is a center for uh, apostolic or center for Pentecostal studies? Well, it's just that. It is a place where apostolic leaders, academicians, um, people who are interested in penetrating into the depth of what Pentecostalism really is about and about what biblical theology is really about in the broadest context. So, um, Dr. Merritt, we're glad you're here. Thank you. And uh, can you just tell us a little bit um, more detail about CAPS? Uh, CAPS is a place where we can share ideas scholarly information from other academics, also from the broader ministry within the apostolic movement. It is a tremendous opportunity for us to collect excellent research that has a biblical base that supports all of our doctrine. Our doctrine is easily supported through the scripture and through academics. We are absolutely apostolic. We're passionately Pentecostal. Every believer that is a spirit-filled apostolic believer is a theologian in their own right. We study God, we study His Word, we're interested in His doctrine. This is a place where you can bring your academic studies together with all the other research that we have. We can share information, we can bounce ideas off of each other, and we're gonna have great resources for pastors and ministries for Bible studies. It's gonna be an also an avenue that we'll be doing. This is an excellent opportunity for us to elevate our fellowship and those that have pursued master's degree academics in their life they'll be able to enjoy the information and the research that we're going to provide there well i am very excited about what you're saying i i i uh i really like one statement you made there that really everybody who is a christian and who is a god seeker is a theologian because they are studying god and so in a broad context, uh, this is not some ivory tower stuff that nobody else can have access to. When you study, however, on this level, um, uh, there's not many people that study on that level. And so you talked about it becomes uh, some kind of repository for um, work in, in, in biblical and theological truth where people can go back and reference this, like a library, how does that work? And this is a, this is a tremendous resource to bring together all kinds of uh, academic and scholarly information that has to do with our Bible studies, our doctrine, our lifestyle. Everything will be available to, for you there. Uh, also resources for the family. Uh, we're going to have a section in this that will be dedicated to apostolic Pentecostal theology through Bible studies and compilations of different materials that we have for different areas of doctrine and lifestyle and uh, just self-help. So it's going to be a great, man, op man, great opportunity. Man, I love what I'm hearing. Uh, you, did you say anybody can be a member? You have to, you, we're, we're, how we're, does that work? Yes, sir. We're accepting, uh, we're accepting submissions now from scholars, especially among our fellowship and in the broader context, uh, other scholars from different uh, organizations. 
also anyone is able to sign up and be a part of CAPS, the Center for Apostolic Pentecostal Studies. So you'll gain access to this world-class information, superb Bible studies, excellent, excellent resources for pastors and for laymen who are interested in delving deeper into the Word of God and the power of God's Word. So this gets into um, not only academic stuff or not only theological stuff in the purest sense of the word, um, for example, just the study of the Godhead and so forth. This embraces family issues, surely, uh, practical things, what we would call practical theology. Um, and this is an amazing resource. Now, is this connected in any way with the Society for Pentecostal Studies? It, it is not. Uh, we, we do not uh, ascribe to the SPS. This is for in one God, apostolic people, for the ministry, for the laity, for members, for Bible study teachers, for Sunday school teachers. This is going to be a tremendous resource. You don't want to miss this opportunity. This is going to be world class mm -hmm. and you'll have all of these resources at your fingertips through our uh, site for CAPS. This is this. I like it. I like it. One reason because I uh, I just have this concept in me that people are smarter than we think they are uh, and that people get sold short uh, and sometimes somebody says oh that's not an educated person well well how smart you are doesn't depend on how educated you are correct uh, that's correct brilliant people i've met had virtually no education older people never had access to education in fact one of the smartest men i ever met didn't know how to read <laughs> i believe that and he was just a a, a a brilliant man. So, um, uh, of course, you have to know how to read to be a part of this. But, but what I'm saying is, is that this gives people a chance to read stuff that's not just some big complicated deal with big words, but that penetrates into and provides helps on a practical level as well as on a broader theological level. I love what you're saying to me. Now, when does this start? Is a, 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 where are we at in that? You have access now to the CAPS website. There will be some free resources that you can examine. There'll be scholarly resources. So there'll be a little dense if you're, uh, if you're not uh, into that level of, uh, of education or level of scholarship. However, we're going to have some other resources that will be very, very viable to every individual, every child of God, even a young person. So if you want to sign up now or you would like to submit something to us for approval, we'll be glad to uh, accept offerings and peer review them ourselves. Uh, it's open now. So we have the resource open now. CAPS website is actually available to everyone. It's PentecostalStudies.com. I love it. Uh uh, let me just say one more thing. That means people who uh, are apostolic teachers, educators, academicians, any, any of these people can make submissions to CAPS, and then it'll be peer-reviewed by people that's qualified, and then, uh, and then it becomes a part of the archive. Is that how that works? Exactly right. It's going to be a tremendous resource. It's kind of like an online, all one stop for apostolic people. Anything doctrinally, anything that has to do with lifestyle, child rearing. We have some of the greatest, uh, uh, some of the greatest counselors, psychologists in the world that are apostolics. I know 30 years ago, uh, Dr. Wilson, when I got into the apostolic movement when I received the Holy Ghost. One of the things that uh, that concerned me is is there were the most brilliant and wonderful and educated ministers and preachers. However, they had no foundation as far as as a foundation of academics. Yeah. Um, that that disturbed me as a as a new convert. Not not the the fact that they were anointed. They were powerfully anointed. Uh, but one of the things was they were, had an aversion to education. Their fear was if you become educated, it would take away from the dynamics and would take away from from the organic word of God mm. and draw them away from truth because they've seen so many people fail through academics. However, 
This is a new age. We're in the fourth wave of Pentecost where, where our people are set. Our doctrine is set. The power of God's word is set in us. And now we have academic basis and an academic foundation in a lot of our membership that supports everything that we're doing so we can reach another level of individuals and revival in this world. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do believe that um, the level of... Um, Opposition to biblical and theological truth, uh, or even to apostolic truth, to be more sectarian here about it, is uh, much more sophisticated than it was like when you came into the church many years ago. And um, there's also, the second thing is, on the internet, there's also access to every kind of wonky doctrine that's oh, ever been yeah. created. Yeah. And people... And our people, I mean, anybody can go there and they can listen. And if they don't, if there's not some people among us that can counter that, then the people are listening to all this stuff. They don't know. And they just, they just buy into just stuff that's just uh, lunacy. So, or, or yes. false doctrine, or all yes. kinds of weird stuff out there. Yeah. So uh, I'm really excited about this. I'm glad that you took time. We're actually in the the uh, walkway here, the foyer of the conference center, we are supposed to be inside and we're going shortly. But right now we are just trying to finish this up to give information to you that you're going to find interested. What, if, uh, what is the um, uh, website? How do you get Pentecostalstudies.com. This is a safe place to draw doctrine, to draw Bible studies, to draw biblical information that has an absolute foundation in truth and our doctrine and lifestyle. You don't want to miss this opportunity. And you're getting in on the ground floor because Absolutely. all the submissions are just starting. Yes. So you're going to be with us from the beginning. Thank you for joining us today on All Things Apostolic.